We're gonna watch the movie with a whole new lens now. Good morning! Slept in the same place we did two nights ago because this is such an amazing spot. And there have been like vans that have been pulling out all morning. Um, there's one other car here, but they have a tent. We're the only crazy people enough to sleep just in a car. Uh, but I actually slept really great last night. It was awesome. It was three degrees warmer than two nights ago. And just that three degrees, I tell you what, makes such a difference. And I slept with my shoes on, not off. And look at this gorgeous lake! I love it! So crazy thing, four nights in a row, we have not slept in a hotel. Four nights ago was in the airport, three nights we spent in the car. Last night was the best that both of us slept. What that means is it's also been four days without a shower. So uh, we've been doing baby wipes, washing our face um, in the sink, and I've been using a ton of baby powder and I think my hair looks pretty decent. I mean, don't look too close. Oh, here we go again, yeah. So first stop is a spot that's similar to where the orcs did their riding off of. Is that right? Did I say it right? Similar to the Battle of the Wargs from the Two Towers. So apparently many locations all over this hill are similar to what the real location that is no longer accessible is private property. But similar to where Rohan and, and Aragorn and Legolas and whatnot were battling the wargs. Are those those scary beasts? Yeah. Oh, here we go again. Oh, 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 oh. Peter, what spot is this? This is where the Urukai captured Merry and Pippin. All right, so we can't get quite up to this spot because it's like in the middle of the woods. I guess we could if we really wanted to hike, but we don't. Um, but somewhere up in the woods. No, babe, it's like, it's like a mile into the woods. This is Milford Bay, and then up into these woods here. Oh, here we go again. Oh, 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 oh. So somewhere in these woods. Not here, it's further up. Yeah, but these woods. Way up there. Yeah. Oh, we don't need to walk any farther, babe. He's so determined. <laughs> this is for you, Natalie. She does eat healthy every once in a while. <laughs> Ooh, this is really good. They always don't show us eating the healthy things, I guess, like bananas and things like that. We do try to have a balanced diet. Okay, let's go. Definitely would like to come back here with a mountain bike, though. Yeah, this is an awesome mountain bike spot. Look at that blue water. So gorgeous. How is the water so clear in New Zealand? is where Sam and Frodo saw the Oliphants. The points that we're going to today um, are a bunch of Lord of the Rings points and they're just GPS coordinates. And so therefore Peter is looking at the phone and he can navigate usually better than I can. It works well, know your strengths. This campsite here has porter potties and it's by this beautiful lake, but it is $15 a night per person. I don't get it, all you have is a porter potty. That's the only thing you have that the free camping um, doesn't. Just do that. Unless you're needing like a shower. We'll probably have to go to an nicer campsite to do a shower. Yeah? Oh, it's that way? Oh, look at this beautiful stream. So Peter thinks that this is the ledge that Frodo and Sam were on. It'll be interesting after seeing the real places where they filmed how much was real, how much was fake, how much they had to put together. They might have just filmed them on the edge and then had like this as a background and CG out everything else, who knows. Right, because like here there's like more banks on this side. <laughs> Movie magic, I tell you what. New Zealand it was an amazing spot for them to film because it is just gorgeous and has like all the different spaces they need. But then obviously they had to like 
add some too and add elephants that were crazy and, and add all these CGI things and oh my goodness. It just makes you appreciate all that goes into movie making. Panning for gold it looks like. Interesting. Now when they shot behind the elephants was there mountains in the background? We'll have to go look now. That looks about right. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. This is the first spot I've been where I'm like, okay, I can actually see that happening. Yeah. But I don't like walking here. I'd be like, oh, I know that place. That's right. the place that Frodo and Sam were looking over. Right. Where are you going? Not only movie magic that has to happen, but like to think for the actors, Sam and Frodo, when they're out there looking out, and obviously there's this probably the stream here, and the stream I don't think was in the movie, um, and then like looking over brush, that they have to act like they are seeing elephants and act terrified. I mean, it's kind of funny. I'm like, that's that's some amazing acting. Oh, I almost slipped. <laughs> Shoes are nice and grippy. Yeah, these were great. Product placement. Whoosh. Meryl. Select grip. Where are you going now? Somewhere in here is where Sam was trying to teach Gollum all about potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Boil them, mash, mash them, stick them in a stew, potatoes. <laughs> Gollum's like, I had nothing of that. I want some fish raw and wiggly. Give it to us. What was that again? Raw and wiggly. <laughs> you did that pretty good. I don't think there was a lake behind. I think they just showed the river part. Right here, it looks familiar. Now I'm like, am I making this up or is it actually, is it actually what happened? We're gonna watch the movie with a whole new lens now. Pretty cool. You are so happy. It's so fun. It's See, like, I'm just like, it's, it's a beautiful lake. It's like a treasure lake. hunt. It is like a treasure hunt. It's pretty fun. Peter, do we have potatoes to boil? What were they cooking? Uh, rabbit. Oh, rabbit. That's right. The night broke into a gallop. Haven't you ever heard the stories about Gumpers? Uh, no. <laughs> hmm. Baby, baby, baby. Looking for lightning, trying to spark that rust. We'll keep on driving, but we'll take it slow. Leaving behind us just a cloud of dust. When I'm with you, I'll take the long way home. Taking turns until we're on our own. When I'm with you, I'll take the long way home. Where shall we go? That mountain range is where the Fellowship tries to cross the snowy mountains. And then they have to turn back because there's too much snow, it's too crazy. And then over here is the valley where it's the edge of Lothlorien. And it's also where Gandalf is coming into Isengard, approaching Isengard. And this is absolutely like beautiful here. Good size like dirt road with some big rocks. And these like tour buses have been barreling down. The right. problem is it's a danger. You cannot pass people when you're going that fast. You can drive that fast, that's no problem. I have no problem driving that fast or that, them driving that fast. The problem is you gotta be respectful and slow down when you're passing somebody because you can kick up a rock when you're going that fast and break somebody's windshield. That's what We've I have had that happen to us. Yeah, the trick is you just play chicken with them when they're coming until they slow down. Yeah, if you know like it's over in like the middle of the road and then they slow down and then we pass each other. So it works out well. Back to pavement. Safe pavement. Yay, pavement. <laughs> So it is just way too windy outside to hear anything <laughs> Peter was trying to explain. Right over there, that is um, Isengard. Peter's hat just blew off. Thankfully it didn't go under this underpass here. He got it right before it went under. Oh, I think I got dust in my eye. Wow, 
though. That was absolutely gorgeous. It was just way too windy. <laughs> Peter was trying to explain that it's Isengard and his hat like blew off. We were really hoping to fly the drone. Peter charged the drone battery this morning. Uh, we stopped at McDonald's and, and got it charged. But unfortunately, you cannot fly in these conditions. Peter, are you stopping and getting a picture? I'll keep an eye out for somebody. You crazy man. Get your, you should have already had your camera on around your neck. I don't know. Don't watch out the door. Oh. Bet your hat. Oh my goodness gracious. Keep this hat inside here today. <laughs> Look at your shirt. Good catch. Serious. Got lucky on that one. I mean, that would have flown in the river. I can't believe you caught it. All right, it goes to dirt road now. Oh, yeah, we're done. Wow, look at all the cows. Oh my goodness. I was like, I know. Oh, I was yeah, like, he's on like a four wheeler or something. I was like, what is going on? Like this, like, like, like a stampede right now. Look at, dogs are amazing. It's pretty fun. So we just passed the little town of Glen Orkey. Peter was like, oh, Glen Orkey. They must have got orc extras from there. We'll be chasing that disguise of gold. I'll go the distance because we're enough. When I'm with you, I'll take the long way home. So we are in Queenstown, um, downtown Queenstown. And the other day when we drove through, we saw everybody at this Ferg Burger place. So we decided that we'd go check it out. It says it should be about a 30 minute wait. Big one, Mr. Big Stuff. <laughs> we got Mr. Big Stuff. Yeah, and it was less than seventy dollars of theirs, which is actually really good. I was expecting it. I would call it really good. Well, it's no, it's for, for, a, for, a, for a deluxe burger. burger. All right, here's what this bad boy looks like. It's pretty big. It's a New Zealand. Ooh, wow. Is that three burgers in there? No, it's just two. Two, then some bacon. And then bacon. Nice. Yeah. That's a good one to split for sure. That's huge. Get a grip on your camera. Uh, bacon. This is ginormous. Wow. Good. That's a really good burger. Been craving beef for a while, huh? I have. There are so many countries you were in that didn't have beef, and I didn't eat beef in Indonesia. I didn't eat it in India, obviously. I don't really think I had much in Thailand. So, yeah. It's been a while. So good. This is beautiful. What are we going to go see? Gladden Fields. Which is? is? Where the One Ring betrays Isildur. He's a prequel character and very brief. And so Lisa and I were trying to remember <laughs> exactly who he is and what this scene looks like. It's not common right now. Maybe when we see the field, we'll, we'll know. Really? <laughs> this should this is probably where they had one of those battle scenes maybe, yeah? See, that's what I keep thinking of is the battle scene, but I don't think that's what this is talking about. This just looks like a field to me. This would be it. Okay. This is another film. Hey, this was an easier filming location for them. Yeah, this is Boom. so easy. So definitely finding spots in New Zealand that if we weren't looking for Lord of the Rings sites, we wouldn't see. So this is pretty fun. Peter is definitely, definitely like more of the Lord of the Rings um, buff than I am. I really enjoyed the movies. Super cute shops. And the an antique fair is is here this weekend. Oh, what a fun little skate park here.
Peter, should we pan for gold? What is going on? Are you kidding me? What? How does it not kill the engine? Ah! <laughs> Alright, so what point in Lord of the Rings are we looking at now? Uh, according to one person, this is where Eowyn took Frodo across the river to escape from the ring wraiths. Well, I thought we saw that yesterday, though. So yeah, there were tons of like river crossings and things like that. And the fact that they use like so many different rivers and different things, to, I mean, kudos to them. All right, so Peter is going up this muddy trail down to there, because that's supposedly where the river crossing is. And I'm just gonna stick right here. He made it. We are running out of water, and so I just got some stream water. Gotta get my life straw though to put in it, so we haven't drank it yet. Peter's loving all these switchbacks. Yeah, so much fun. It's like going up Pike's Peak. Yup. They just got engaged! Polish couple just got engaged. Yeah, that was so cool! We saw a Polish couple that got engaged of this beautiful overlook. We offered to take their picture with us and they already had. We came in after the fact. We didn't come in um, during the engagement proposal. Hey, we were wondering when we would see a proposal, so... Oh, you were? Yeah, I was wondering whenever we would see a proposal. We saw the tail end of two so far. We saw the tail end of Paris. one in Paris and the tail end of this one. But we haven't seen it in the moment yet. <laughs> See a war rod rider coming right off the side of one of these rocks. I know, this is crazy. It's a little bit of the lakes. Yeah. Lakes district. But I feel like these cliffs are even higher. I'm glad we took this route over the bigger road route. Gorgeous water. And mountains. And mountains. Tonight we have a gorgeous sunset. We run by water every single day here. Peter is panning so well without it on. <laughs> this camera is weird. Yet press record, it doesn't always start. Peter always takes the key, and so when I'm driving, I'm like, oh wait, who has the key? I was about to say, like, there goes Frodo, but you're just too tall to even imagine that. <laughs> Got some cheese left over on your mustache that's growing after four days of no shaving. That's what's inside me right now. It needs to come out. It's that big, too. Okay, and this is delicious. Um, it's the Marvelous Creation. It has jelly popping candy in it. So basically, it has, like, pop rocks in the chocolate. Like, what? Like, what? 